Hey, what's going on everybody? It is me, Abyss Fusion here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. We'll go back to another drinks review. And welcome to my 30th uh, drinks review, everybody. Or review, well, not 30th drink review, but my 30th uh, fusion reviews. Uh, this is uh, the 30th video I have done on doing these reviews. 99% uh, of them have been drinks reviews, and the 1% uh, was, uh, was a car review. So, <laughs> it's basically the 30th video of me doing my Fusion uh, review since 2016. And what better way to celebrate with a, uh, with a coffee? <laughs> but welcome to another video on the channel. Welcome back to another drinks review. And today, we are doing Dream Bean Coffee. And it is the orange mocha flavor. Iced coffee. Now, I bought this from the uh, Sweet Memories website. Uh, as I have throughout the past couple of... Uh, Drinks reviews that I have done on the channel. This is no exception. This is from the uh, Sweet Memories website. Uh, I'm not really sure what it was classified in the country. Like, basically, I don't know. I can't remember where what category this was from. Uh, it said the uh, European Union or the EU, but that might be a lie. So we'll, we'll basically find out when we look through maybe the details. So. I am going to quickly give you a full 360 of the can, and we have a pretty basic can design, you know, nothing incredibly uh, special, except for the uh, the little uh, brown bit representing the uh, coffee, the orange representing the orange mocha, and the iced coffee creamy looking thing at the bottom. I don't know what that represents, but uh, it's a pretty basic can design, not going to lie, but I guess uh, basic can be, the, uh, can be a good thing, really. So, there's two different labels that tells you what it is one there and literally just one two fingers away i don't know why uh, they did that but um i guess why not uh on the top is pretty basic standard uh the pouring is exactly the same this top is standard and the bottom is standard as well and this expires next year on the month of a birthday the 5th of may no the no the first of the fifth it expires on the month of my, of my birthday basically so uh, let's have a look at the uh, back of the description. That's uh, kind of hard because there's uh, there's not one bit of English on it. Maybe I should have done some research, but um, oh well, I guess we could just go straight into it. So if I can guess what the uh, smell is going to be, it's going to smell like coffee, obviously, but I think it's going to smell like obviously of the mocha, but a hint of orange as well. But with all coffees, what we're going to have to do in order to get all the flavor, we're going to have to uh, quickly just uh, give it a bit of a shake, uh, nothing too quick and I'm gonna have to um, get something to cover it while I open it oh, I knew it <laughs> well it didn't actually go everywhere but it did uh, kind of explode a little bit so let's have a smell of it and uh, oh, smell what we're doing with yeah traditional traditional uh, mocha flavor it smells like chocolate it smells like orange chocolate. I do want to point out there was two or three other flavors of uh, Dream Bean Coffee. One of them was vanilla, if I'm correct. But I got this one first just to see if it was worth it. And if I'm correct, I only paid one pound for this. Is it worth it? I don't know. We're going to smell it, put it in our lovely old reliable container right here. And uh, have a taste of it and see if it's worth it. Yeah, it just smells like... Uh, coffee with chocolate i don't know <laughs> and i do want to point out it is kind of uh, late it's almost six o'clock at night it's not the best idea for me to have a coffee but i've been barely surviving all day so screw it why not let's have a look at what it looks like Ooh, might as well put all of it in Ooh, i'd say i'll put that there so it uh, looks like your traditional normal coffee uh, texture. Uh, a little bit creamy look to it. Uh, not really going to lie. Still smells like chocolate. No, smells like coffee with chocolate. That's a weird combination. It just looks like your normal coffee, really. It's a very creamy looking texture to it. Not going to lie. Pretty basic. So, um, yeah, it's very thick as well. You can't really see for it. It's a very thick texture. So, uh, well... Further ado, this is Dream Bean Coffee Orange Mocha. I don't think I've ever had an orange mocha in my life, but 
There's always a first for everything. Let's have a bit, taste of it. What in the world? That is, that is weird. If this is what orange mocha is meant to taste like normally, it's um very weird. That is um that is really weird. Like yeah, it tastes like a, a mocha coffee, obviously, because hence it's a coffee mocha. Duh. But uh, it tastes really weird. Like not in a bad way. Like it tastes like obviously mocha and orange, but the orange is a little bit weak. Like. Again, I can't measure how much orange is in it, really. 75, that can't be how much orange is in it, because that'd be a lot. I think it's 75% milk or coffee or beans or whatever. I really, I really do not know. It has a weird texture to it. Like, it's a good texture, but it's a sort of mix. Like, the aftertaste is nice, I'll admit that. But it just feels like I'm drinking a normal mocha coffee, to be honest. I can't really taste... The, uh, the orange blend in with it. I mean, I did shake it, and if, if I didn't shake it, maybe I would have tasted it, but when I have my coffees and they're ice cold uh, from a can, I normally shake them to get all the, like, the flavor and the top and that, otherwise the flavor will most likely be sinking to the bottom, and I won't be able to taste it until I drank it off. It tastes like a light coffee drink. If I have to give my opinion, I would recommend it question mark if you're really curious i would recommend it but truthfully i wouldn't have it all the time i will have all of it later on within the next like half an hour because you know i've opened it there's none left in the um in the can so i might as well have all of it from the glass but i would recommend it question mark at the end of that sentence that is all I have to say for this review. Um, thank you all very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button. Possibly share it with a friend, family, or relative. And let me know in the comments below what you want me to review. And make sure to check the description below for my Instagram and my Twitter. I'm always active on Instagram and I'm so active on Twitter. Thank you all very much for watching this video. And I will see you all when we review the Dr. Pepper Limited Edition Dark Berry Drink from America. Yeah, I will see you then.